All right, boys, where are we going? Uh, to, to go get oil for the vehicle. And what vehicle are we doing this on? Nathaniel's My orange Jeep. Horribly old Jeep Wrangler. All right, all right. Where are we getting this at? AutoZone. AutoZone, all right. Gonna be the best video ever. <laughs> Something funny? All right, we finally made it to AutoZone. And we know what oil we want. You see, it's always important to get the right type of oil for your car. So why did we get the 10W30 oil for our Jeep Wrangler? Uh, well, the W stands for winter, which it is winter right now. So, and then the 10 stands for, it's like it's viscosity rating, which means like how like thick the oil is when like warmed up. So it's like, when the engine heats up, you have to like, yeah. So basically, the engine is gonna start up faster in colder conditions due to the meaning of 30 and 10W30 oil. So you need to make sure to check your owner's manual to get the right oil filter so that it fits in your car properly. In our case, we have a sticker right here on front of the grill that tells us what size threads we need. And the reason the oil filter is important is it'll filter particles out of your oil that could cause harm to your engine. Okay, Justin, we have everything we need. What so, are they? So here's the funnel for when we pour the oil into the vehicle. Here is the drain pan. So when we finally do drain the oil, it's gonna fall into here and then we can dispose of it. Here's the, here's the jack, which helps to stand up the car, which you can see there. Here's the socket wrench for help, uh, helping take off the, the drain plug. And then here's the um, sh strap wrench. Yeah, that's the one. And it takes it off the oil filter. And here are rags for like just cleaning stuff up as we go. And then here's our filter. And then here's the oil we're using for the car. And then this is the jack. Okay, so for jack placement, in our case, our hood, the inside of our hood told us exactly where to put our jacks, right here. But in any other case, you can probably just look at your owner's manual and I'll tell you where to put them. So here are our jack stands. Our, this is what it looks like. We only needed one for our car. It's right there. And then if you come over here, we have our chalk just in case the vehicle decides to roll back. It's just for safety mechanisms. So for checking the oil, the first thing you need to do is find your dipstick. You want to pull it out and get the oil off it as you pull it out. And then get it back in. Usually they only go in one way. And then pull it out again. And then check that it's in your safe zone for your engine. Nice. Step one of changing your oil is finding your drain plug. For us, it's right there on the oil pan. So you want to get a drain pin and put it right under it so it's hand loose now so it's gonna go okay so right now we're removing the bolt from the drain plug and we've got it loose enough to where we can remove it with our hand and a bunch of oil is gonna fall out into our drain pan yeah and as we said in the beginning of the video it is always important to dispose of your used oil properly it's also important to put a towel down but there's like a we got a carpet in, in my garage we have a carpet that's inside of a towel to prevent any stains on the cement so it's draining yeah it's draining pretty good no is it draining into the bottom of this i sure hope so because it doesn't look like it is be pretty gotta admit it'd be pretty salty if it isn't Should be. Wow. Is it going down? I think so. No, yeah, it definitely. I need shop towels. Now it's going down, by the way. I'm gonna let this drain out because I don't want. Uh, the last thing I want is for this to overflow. What do you need? I don't know, a bunch. <laughs> Good thing we have our towels. So let's remove that drain plug again. That's rough. 
You want to be careful that your drain pan doesn't overflow because even if you have a carpet or a towel down, it can still make plenty of mess. Here we go, go again. Oh. <laughs> Towels come in handy when you need them. Probably gonna need more. Oh, looks like it's coming to an end. Don't lose those, the drain plugs in there. And now we wait. So now that the oil is draining, we can remove the fill cap. In most cars, it's usually at the top of the engine, but what removing the fill cap does is it can make the oil drain a little bit faster because it takes away the vacuum. So yeah. So we've located the oil filter and we have it loosened up with the strap wrench. And so it's hand loose now. So as soon as we open this up, a bunch of oil is going to come out and for our case it's at an odd angle so we have to hold this up so it, the oil doesn't fall in his face there it goes there hey it you got it the oil is done draining i'm gonna put the drain plug back on but you gotta make sure it's clean first and we already wiped it down there we go when you put it on yeah otherwise it won't seal up and you can strip it out now we're gonna tighten it up with the socket wrench get it hand tight first and then you gotta make sure you tighten it up with the socket wrench remember make sure the socket wrench is turning it the same way yeah. that you were spinning with that hand otherwise uh, it won't work that's and probably good now it's nice and tight Okay, so now we have our new oil filter. We have rubbed some new oil like around the edges of it to make sure it seals properly. And now we're gonna put it on. On, stop. So now we're going to use the strap wrench to tighten up the filter. It's kinda hard. Hard to get it on there properly the way that this filter is angled. No. Always remember to wear your safety equipment. So we're gonna put this in. Now, we only put four quarts of oil in and go a little bit at a time. The reason we only put four quarts is because that's as much as the vehicle can hold. This part is very dangerous. Always wear your safety equipment. Check to see what's it at. Put a little bit more in there. Yeah. It's almost there. You can go a little bit more. That should do it. And there you have it, folks. And that 
No, we're not done yet. Oh. What's next? We oh. gotta put this back on. Our uh, fill cap back on. And then next we gotta... Oh, you are so ugly. Oh, you can hear me. Gotta run the car for about 30 seconds to get some oil in the filter since we didn't pre-fill it. And then check with our dipstick again to make sure that there's enough oil in there. If not, we just have to top it off. Then we should be good to go. All right. And there, there you have it, folks. That's how you change the oil in your car. So it's a good idea to run your car for about two or three minutes to make sure everything's running okay. So here we're going to start up the car. And Justin is going to check for any drips if there's any oil dripping. Because we don't want any oil leaks. How's it looking, Justin? Good. Good? My car is pretty nice. You have an oil pressure gauge, and right there is right where it should be. Sounds good. Looks like we did an okay job. Everything's running correctly. Alright, that's it. It's important to dispose of used oil properly. So now we're going to take this into the store.